Hello, I'm Nari McDiamond for MiningNews.net and I'd like to welcome Bruce Maluish, the Managing Director of VRX Silica, which is looking at the prospect of more than 100 years of production. But Bruce, over to you. How would you describe the company? Silica sand. Um, it's And it's silica sand for making glass and also to be used in the foundry industry. Uh, we've got a number of projects and uh, here in WA, companies WA based, and we're looking initially to export out of Western Australia to predominantly Korea, Japan, but also some potentially to Taiwan, Philippines and Malaysia. Well, in terms of your projects here in WA, what are the key highlights of your most advanced projects at the moment, Bruce? Well, we've got resources on five different projects. Uh, and in fact, the resources total over 1.4 billion tonnes. So we don't need a lot more sand. And that, and these projects will last a very, very long time. Um, our uh, EPA approvals process is well advanced on Arrowsmith North. And Arrowsmith sits between Eniabra and Dongara in Western Australia. And our uh, premier project really is Muche. Uh, sits just 50 k's north of Perth, different sand, higher grade, different market. So um, Arrowsmith North is predominantly, uh, at least half the production will go into the foundry industry. Korea has the largest foundry industry in the world. India has the fastest growing foundry industry. Um, and glass making, uh, particularly for flat glass, container glass, automobile glass. So there's a lot happening on different fronts, but they're all progressing. And on a different level, Bruce, can I get you to elaborate on VRX Silica's management team? Uh, personally, I've been in the resources industry for over 40 years, have started up a number of projects. I guess the similar project to this is I established a mineral sands project on the Tiwi Islands, the one and only mining project on the uh, Tiwi Islands north of Darwin, that was for mineral sands. In lots of ways, this production of silica sand has similarities with uh, mineral sands. Same equipment, but used for a different reason. Uh, but when it comes to mining, this is it's not difficult. The processing is not difficult. Um, and really, it's uh, about making sure that typically, like an industrial mineral, you've got it sold before you dig it up. So we spent a lot of time uh, talking to potential offtake partners. We've signed up a couple of them already in uh, in Korea, and we've got a number in the wings as well. Wonderful. And Bruce, finally, can I get you to outline your elevator pitch, what you'd like a potential investor to hear about VRX Silica? The most important, well, the most critical uh, component of silica sand is that Asia is running out of sand. Now, it's hard to believe because you see, you think you see sand everywhere. But in fact, beach sand is not suitable for glass making or foundry, not even suitable for making concrete. Desert sands, that orangey yellow colour means it's high in iron, so it's not an inert sand. So it also isn't suitable for glass making, foundry or concrete. Now, if you discount all those sand uh, deposits that you see, you're not left with a lot of suitable sand. And in fact, not only is the supply diminishing because of depleted resources, particularly in Asia, but they are they're rapidly losing access to high grade sand, which traditionally has been dredged in freshwater rivers and lakes. And that's just not sustainable. And, and Asian countries have recognised that. So if you take that away from the supply side of the equation, you're not left with a lot. Now, most of Asia is acutely concerned about its own domestic supplies. Every country in Asia has um, banned exports of silica sand because they need it domestically. There are some exports uh, out of Vietnam, but uh, it's an intermittent basis. So big users, big manufacturers in Asia are looking for a good, reliable supply. And that's what we can supply. Well, Bruce, thank you very much for taking the time to have a chat today. Thanks, Nari.